like feeling like 100%. I can honestly tell that time of month is coming. So I might spend a lot of today relaxing. Um, we definitely do need to do a Target pickup. So we're going to do that. And then we also need to go to the farmer's market for sure. I want to make a vegetable soup in the very near future, like maybe sometime tonight or tomorrow. So I wanna get a whole bunch of like really good veggies um, to put in there. And then I also wanna make me some juices. My outfit today, I am wearing this shirt that I just showed y'all in my, I think it was my last vlog I showed y'all. Um, and this is the oversized shirt that I picked up from ASOS. And I am feeling just very like, Eh, today a little bit like I'm just kind of feeling like yeah we're gonna chill today and then I think this evening I'm gonna come home and I'll probably be in the bed a little early tonight just so I can kind of relax my body so hey y'all welcome back to another vlog welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for checking out this video welcome to my channel so we are a little bit later in the day, but I wanted to show y'all a few things that I picked up from the farmer's market today. Y'all know I love shopping at the farmer's market. You definitely get higher quality vegetables and fruits. You get more variety of things. So you get things from different places. They're definitely fresher and, and it's at a much better price than it is at your local grocery store. So if you have a farmer's market, Definitely check it out because it is the place to go, especially in today's economy because they're really trying to rob us at the grocery stores, y'all. Like, it's really ridiculous how much they be trying to charge for groceries. <clears throat> um, But anyways, yeah, let me show y'all some of the things that I picked up. Things first, let me start off by saying I am going to make a vegetable soup. We do get all of our fruits and vegetables and everything from the farmer's market, so... It may seem like a lot, but this is pretty much going to hold us down for the next week. So I got some celery, I got some cucumbers, some spinach, some strawberries, bananas, blackberries. Y'all, Milo loves blackberries. We have already gone through one case of blackberries since we got home. So yeah, we got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. These are Japanese sweet potatoes, which are so good, y'all. Honestly, these put sweet potatoes and regular potatoes to shame. Try Japanese sweet potatoes. Like, let me put y'all on. These are bomb. Onions, got some pomegranate. So y'all know Christmas season is coming. Pomegranate season is coming. I also make um, potpourri on the stove. So I tend to use pomegranate, especially in November and December because it's seasonal. So I got that. I got some avocado, uh, quite a bit of tomatoes. I think like four tomatoes. I got some green peppers, red peppers, some lemons. These are some beets, so a little TMI, but it is that time of the month. And I do wanna make me a juice. Beets are really good when you're on your menstrual cycle. So I plan on making me a juice this week. Um, I also got some kale. I tend to make um, green juices every time we go grocery shopping. So I got enough kale and cucumber and things for that as well. I also got these honey tangerines. So this is going to be my first time ever trying these. We love oranges in this family. I also use oranges for potpourri on the stove. So got that. I also got some limes. Eggs. So I got two things of eggs because that's going to last us for the next two weeks. I got some butter and some cheese, and I also got some block cheese somewhere. I think I may have already put it up. I also got some spices. So I get a lot of my spices from the farmer's market. I told y'all I do make potpourri, so I got this star anise. I also got allspice berries, so I also, I also got some of this to use in my potpourri. Cloves I use all the time. I use cloves almost every single day. This is also good for like teas and things like that. And then I also got some sage because I've never had sage before, but the soup that I'm making calls for ground sage. So this is the perfect time of year to try something new. I also got some cinnamon sticks. I use cinnamon sticks literally every day. I love cinnamon, fresh cinnamon. I use cinnamon sticks in a lot of dishes, especially breakfast. I use it for potpourri. I use it for teas. Like, I love cinnamon. So, 
got another bag of that and then the last thing that i got are these herbs so i got this is mint i got some thyme cilantro parsley and this is rosemary and I use all of these herbs. I'm going to wash them off really good. I store them in the refrigerator and these herbs usually last us for a good two weeks. So I love getting my herbs from the farmer's market. It is literally a third of the price of the regular grocery store and you get really good herbs that are coming straight from the garden. So yeah, these are all the things that I picked up this week during our shopping trip. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Sunday morning and I am actually about to go get some coffee. There is this coffee that me and Deshaun really love. It has like um, habanero and cinnamon and I think it's some lavender in there but it's like really delicious. So today also was the time change. So time fell back an hour which I originally thought that I originally thought that we were going to lose an hour of sleep like I was going to get less sleep but turns out we were gaining an hour of sleep like time is falling back. So yeah that felt really good because I was up at five o'clock this morning and I got a ton done and Myla actually slept like an extra hour than she's usually able to um, during the week because she has to go to daycare. So, oh, that felt really good. Um, so I got that time in this morning and yeah, just gonna go get this coffee. I've already started breakfast, Myla's eating. So let's get this Sunday started. I am just super happy to have that extra hour really crazy is like I'm just sitting here thinking and it's like every week I look up and I feel like we are already at the next week and we are literally like I think 10 weeks or maybe 10 less than 10 weeks away from the end of the year like that is insane but what has felt really good about this year is that I actually remember it like wow this has certainly not been the easiest year I can remember and I can recall like every a lot of things that have happened like I was very present very aware and like in touch with my feelings and my emotions so I did a lot more processing this year than I ever have in the past but it's just crazy how time is like flying and we're already almost at the end of the year but um but anyways, let's go get this coffee and then I'm gonna come back home and probably just chill around the house. Yeah, it's a nice fall day. It's pretty cold outside. So I might make that vegetable soup if I'm up for, for it. If I if I feel like it, I'll make the vegetable soup and I will definitely vlog it. So yeah, we'll see. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds through it to the slides and both kids. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trips and die. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck or not, I keep the quality. lunchtime I ended up leaving yesterday to go get Milo while Hubs finished um, this soup but it came out really good y'all 
Um, you can't really see it, but I put some noodles on top and I'm gonna also throw some cheese on top. But yeah, this is just loaded with tons of vegetables and it's a lot of good broth in there too. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. Hey, what's up y'all? So today is, today is Wednesday. It is currently like nine o'clock at night. So this is typically the time I go to bed. But I'm staying up a little later than I usually would because I really need to pack because tomorrow we're going out of town for the weekend. So, but as y'all can see, I also did get my hair done. I get my hair trimmed like twice a year really and I really would rather do it myself but because I don't know how to do it myself and I've just been kind of nervous about doing it myself um this year i decided that i'm trying to do a little bit better with my hair routine i really want to keep my ends trimmed um y'all have heard me say it a little a lot that i'm trying to grow my edges like my edges are broken off so i'm really just trying to get my hair back healthy i did have a baby like a little less than a year and a half ago so that could also part in like the overall health of my hair i do want to show y'all how i'm packing because how I pack pretty much for all of the trips is the same. Like whether we're taking a flight or whether we're taking a road trip, I pretty much pack the same. I tend to not really pack that many full size items because it's just so unnecessary and it takes up extra space. And I'm the type of person where I prefer to travel light. We were like that when it was just me and him. So now that we have Mila, we definitely want to be like traveling as light as possible um so i'm just gonna show y'all how we pack i'm gonna try to pack all of our things in two carry-on suitcases and one duffel bag and then deshaun will probably have a bag too um and that typically works out for us like when we take trips for like a couple of days like even if we're taking a flight um we can typically pack into um two carry-on bags so yeah we're gonna see i think i'm gonna have to pack some of myla stuff with um deshaun as well i'm definitely gonna put some of her stuff in my bag but realistically probably most of it is gonna have to go in deshaun's bag because i'll be having stuff in mine you know I, I gotta have stuff um like jewelry and all that type of stuff so let me just show y'all real quick um let me just show y'all what I have laid out. So this is typically how I do all of our clothes. I haven't picked out my clothes yet, so I'm going to do that um, while I'm doing this video. But um, this is pretty much how I usually lay everything out. So I pretty much get Myla's outfits completely together. And then I put them in um, some packing cubes. Packing cubes do work out for us, especially when we mix up our things. Like, it just keeps everything organized, and I like it. So, these are all of her outfits. I also got her a lot of onesies. Like, as a baby, as a toddler, like, they need onesies. They need them. They go through them. I use them as layering pieces. So, yeah, it's always good to have them. And then, we're actually staying at an Airbnb, so I really like to have my own towels and washcloths. Definitely, like, that may take up a, a little bit more space because I definitely may um, pack some of that. But anyways, this is where all of her toiletries are going to go. So I did go to Target and get a couple of things, and I got a container for this. So And then wipes. Oh my gosh, you can never have enough wipes. Like, we're going to pack wipes in the bag, and we're going to have some in the car. And then over here, and then this is um, my duffel bag that I got from Cow Pack, And I love this bag. It can fit so much stuff in it. It was like a hundred and something dollars. It also fits underneath the seat um, in the airplane. So that's really nice. I tend to pack a lot of Myla's things in here, and then I also tend to put our um, laptops and things in here as well. And then we got hella um, diapers because you can never have enough. So we're going to have some packed in the bag and then we're going to have some in the car. But we don't really need to OD because we're going to be in the U.S. So it's not like we can't go to the store and get something if we run out. But yeah so i'm gonna be honest y'all i'm so tired like i really want to go to bed but i know that my future self 
would be so happy if I packed and got everything done tonight because one thing about it, I do not like being rushed. And tomorrow, like when we have to leave, I just want to make sure that we have everything um, laid out and together so that we'll be ready to go. So, yeah, um, I'm going to set my camera up and then I'm going to get to it because I'm trying to get all this done like real quick. Like I'm trying to pack all this stuff up, get my outfit out, get Deshaun stuff out like all in the next 30 to 40 minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> seen any of the um other housewives shows unless they've been oh, black shows okay. so i've seen real housewives of potomac i've definitely seen real housewives of atlanta for sure but this season i've been watching real housewives of new york um honestly just for side to silva i really like her um i've been following her for a while now so I'm really watching because of her. Girl, what? It got late really quick. It is already past 10 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap my hair up and finish putting this stuff in the suitcase. And then I'm about to go to bed. I'm pretty much done packing. Um, I don't know how long that took. I think maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Still not that bad, especially since I've been recording while I'm doing it. But yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in the next video bye oh,